Hey, how's it going? So um, in just talking about how to set up Google Chrome um, as your default web browser. So your web browser is basically everything that you're going to be doing, creating your online course for. It's, it's a search. So Google is a search engine. So when people are searching for um, your business, that's where people type it in. And Google Chrome is one of the most popular ones in the world. And we highly recommend that you use that instead of Safari or Bing or any of the others. Um, it's just it's just the most popular and it's, it works for, it just works. So we, we highly recommend it. So if you have Google Chrome already, that's incredible. Keep using it. Um, there's another, we'll have more tutorials on how we can, um, you know, use Google Chrome in the best way possible. Um, but, and, but if you haven't got Google Chrome, then that's great. We're going to be going through how you can set that up. So I'm just going to share with you my screen. Okay, so here we are. Um, so whatever Google, like whatever browser, web browser you're in, it could be Safari, it could be Bing, it could be um, anyone else <laughs> that are out there, just type in www.google.com forward slash Chrome. And so when you type that in into the, this um, URL section, then it will take you to this, this um, website. So in order to set Chrome up, you download Chrome for Mac. If you have, um, uh, if you're on a PC and not a Mac, then it will give you the um, option to download the same file, but for Windows. And so when it has um, downloaded, then you can just click on it. It could be in your downloads folder, wherever that is, and it will, um, take you through a certain process to install Chrome. It's just like installing any other kind of software. And it will ask you to drag and drop it. Well, this is for Mac anyways, into the applications folder. An item um, named Google Chrome already exists in this location because I've already got it. Um, do you want to replace it with the one that you're moving? So I'm just going to stop doing it. Um, instead of replacing it. But when you do have your, um, when you have downloaded it, then wherever you keep your applications on your computer, for example, this is a whole folder which has all of my applications, it will be in there. So Google, Google, Google Chrome. Okay, so you double click it and then it will pop up. So what we are going to do now is once we've installed it is now we're going to, let me make my thing bigger. Now we're going to make it our default browser so that whenever we click on a link, so default means that it's the first one that, that pops up. So whenever we click on a link, when, everyone share, when anyone shares a website with us, either on Facebook or Messenger or via an email, and we click on it, the browser that it uses automatically will be Google Chrome instead of using Safari or something else. And so to make that your default, you'll find three little buttons on the top right hand corner of Google Chrome once it's open. So I just want you to click on that and you'll see this drop down list. If you go to settings, click on settings and here you'll have a bunch of your settings. You might notice that, that my um, Google Chrome is black and yours might be white and that is because I have changed the appearance of it to make it dark because dark is so cool right now. Um, and I can change it by changing, by clicking on this and changing my theme. See, it's a theme that I got from the Chrome web store, which is pretty cool. The Chrome web store has lots of things. If you have a look to see up this top right um, hand um, uh, next to the bookmarks bar, next to the URL link thingy, <laughs> you'll find that I've got these that you may not have them. Um, these are all extensions, which are tiny little apps that people have created for the Google web browser. So let's just go back to this settings page. Now to make 
this search engine, so Google Chrome, to be the um, default, we want to come to this section which says search engine. And here you get a, um, a list of the different search engines that there are. So Yahoo is a search engine, Bing, DuckDuckGo, I don't use those. Google Chrome is ultimately the best. And look at all these other search engines. There are lots of them out there where you can just search for certain things. These are the main. So what we want to do is we want to just click on Google and make sure that that is your default browser. And then you'll have it here. If I change that to Yahoo, it's going to change it. But we want to keep it as Google. Okay, so, um, and that is how to make Google Chrome your default browser. And um, I trust that this has really um, served you and you've got a lot of value from it and um, you're gonna be using Google Chrome a lot. So it's a good thing to jump into it get used to it, play around with the settings. Um, I'll make another video on Google on some of the Google extensions from the Google Chrome web store. Um, that make life so much easier um, and they save you a lot of time. All right, thanks for watching.